I'm making pork tacos today with caramelized onions. In this recipe, you don't have to cook a pork butt for hours. We're going to use a pork tenderloin, which is so tender and so easy to cook. There's going to be a great dry rub on this, so simple with just two ingredients. You're gonna really love this recipe. You can just purchase some salsa, but I'm going to make a really simple tomato salsa that can go into the taco and make it just go to another level. Please subscribe if you haven't already and find me on Facebook and TikTok and Instagram. I'm making my dry rub now and it's one tablespoon of chili powder and one teaspoon of light brown sugar packed tight. And it's also going to be a half a teaspoon of kosher or sea salt. Make sure that you mix it really well and you might have to use your fingers to get that brown sugar really distributed well. You'll need about a pound and a quarter to a pound and a half of pork tenderloin and there's the fat here and there on it so make sure you get that off ahead of time. It's really easy to do. I like to do it with a small knife. I have more control. So trim anything off the ends too and now we're going to take our dry rub and rub it all over the pork tenderloin. You can take this and flip it over but make sure you get your hands in there and get it really rubbed into that pork. Totally covering it with your dry rub is really important so that when your tacos are ready, you're going to have this beautiful flavor all the way through. I'm going to bake it at 425 for about 20 minutes. The temperature should be 145 when it's done. You'll need a very large sweet onion. I've peeled it, I've cut it in half, and I want slices, thin ones, and that will work really nicely with the taco. So I've got a tablespoon of olive oil and I'm going to saute my onions until they're a light golden brown and soft and limp, and that's gonna make the flavor so good. Make sure that you add about one teaspoon of kosher or sea salt to those onions. And what that does is brings out the juices and the flavor. I'm going to start my tomato salsa. So I have a large beefsteak tomato. You can use any kind of tomato you want. I'm trimming it up and I'm going to cut it down into a really small size, about, oh, maybe an eighth of an inch. Place your chopped tomatoes in a bowl and put them aside. And now I have six scallions. I'm going to trim them on both ends and I'm going to use both the white and the green part and this is going to be the onion flavor that's going to be in the salsa. It works out really well, it's not too overwhelming and I think everybody's going to really like it. Make sure to chop your scallions really fine. Now I'm going to add about a teaspoon of kosher salt to the mix. Add your scallions to the bowl, and then you're going to grab two limes. Make sure they're pretty ripe. I like to stab them with a fork and it gets the juices going. So juice two limes, add it to that bowl, and stir everything up. This is so great. I'm getting some cilantro ready, and I'm going to wash it in a bowl of cold water first to get all the grit off and mince it fine. I like to keep this aside because not everyone likes cilantro. So here's the caramelized onions. We're getting those into a bowl, and we're going to get our taco station ready. I'm slicing up that pork tenderloin into really thin slices. You don't want them thick. You want to be able to eat that taco comfortably. You can see how paper thin I'm slicing it, and this is just right. Everything is coming together beautifully, but the next step is to get your tortilla warm. I have corn tortillas here. You can use flour or corn, and all I'm doing is putting them in a hot pan, no oil, and I'm just warming them up. You can do this in the microwave, but I think putting them on the stove is better. So it's time to assemble, and I would add my pork first, and really you can pile that on, and then the caramelized onions, and then go for the salsa, and if you like cilantro, I would dot that on the top, and they're ready to eat. When using a soft tortilla, I like to serve them like this, and then you can take them and fold them up on their sides. So this just smells and looks incredible. So it's time for the taste test. I don't think you're gonna find anything more flavorful or easy for a beautiful taco dinner. So let's give it a try. You could add sour cream to this. You could have shredded cabbage. You could have some lettuce on this. Mm. 
Mm. This is just amazing. And I think it will rival any Mexican restaurant you go to. Thanks for watching the video. I hope to see you again soon. And you got to make this right away.